Hi everyone, it's Tech Dad. The Oculus Quest is the standalone VR headset that is supposed to bring VR to the mainstream. But a Quest is also more than that. It is a device supported by a great community, which is releasing all kinds of hacks and mods, which is bringing new experiences outside of the Oculus Store control environment. The Quest is based on the Android architecture and you can install your own software or APK file like you can on most Android smartphones. All of this is perfectly legal and accepted by Oculus. The easiest way to manage all of this is with the SideQuest software. You just have to go to this website and follow the instructions. One of the best features that you can add to the Oculus Quest is the streaming capability of SteamVR game, which will let you play sim racing games like Project Cars 2 or Assetto Corsa. You have two good options, one paid and one free. The paid option is through the virtual desktop app that is sold on the Oculus Store, for which you will need to add a SteamVR package with SideQuest. It is known to be the most user-friendly solution. However, the free ALVR software also provides very good performances that were confirmed by my own test this week. You can install ALVR also using SideQuest. For both options, you also need to install a server software on your PC so it communicates with the Quest. Just go to ALVR or Virtual Desktop uh, website and install the software and you'll be able to play Steam VR games. Before launching a game, however, uh, please check the parameters for the stream. I'll be using ALVR for this example. By default, the streaming bitrate is set to 30 Mbps, which should work fine with most routers. However, the image will look a bit flat and compressed. I was able to push my bitrate up to 70 Mbps, uh, which made a big difference but add occasional hiccups. Uh, but I'm using a cheap uh, router from my ISP. Please be advised that your PC really needs to be connected to the router using an Ethernet cable. It might take you a couple of tries to find the optimal settings, but once everything is set up, it's really worth it. Now you can just launch ALVR on your Quest headset to connect to SteamVR, and you can launch your games. Playing Project Cars using my Oculus Quest was a good experience. It might not be as crisp as playing with the Rift S, for example, but it was certainly better than with my old Rift CV1. I had no problem reading text or gauges. The Oculus Quest uses OLED screens similar to the Vive Pro or the Samsung Odyssey. By default, however, ALVR doesn't oversample the image as much as you can do on PC. If you increase the transmitted resolution, you'll need to push the router to its limits. There were no noticeable or disturbing lag for me while playing sim racing games as my setup was able to keep the delay below 70 milliseconds most of the time. If your router can keep up, you can play with sim racing games perfectly fine using the Quest. But occasional artifacts can disturb you once in a while so I wouldn't suggest you to play competitively online. Stream PC VR games on the Quest will not replace a dedicated VR headset, but it still works surprisingly good. There is some compatibility issue with some games, but major racing games on Steam just works great. To play Dirt Rally, however, you'll need to jump some hoops and tricks to make it work as the game doesn't recognize the Quest Plus, I don't think you can play games like iRacing, for example. But even if you could, I wouldn't suggest it because you need the most stable solution not to hurt anyone competitive races online. All in all, even if it's not perfect, the streaming capability of the Quest with SteamVR games works great most of the time, according to the user as a good Wi-Fi setup. So go ahead if you own a Quest and a racing rig Try it and leave your impression in the comments below. Thank you all. See you next time. It was Tech Dad. Ciao.